How we doing everybody? Matt Modai here with Odds Jam. Unfortunately, this is a college football week where we don't have Maction. We don't have Tuesday games. We don't have Wednesday, Wednesday games. We don't have Thursday games. But what we do have are Friday games and we have a play here. A game between Akron and Buffalo. I actually am going to have two bets on Friday for college football. Um, so we can get into it. The first play that we're looking at here is the under 57 in Akron versus Buffalo. This is at minus 110 at Betfred. That sportsbook is becoming le more legal in more and more states, recently Maryland, which is where I am. So this is an incredible play in terms of value. The no big odds, <coughs> excuse me, that Ajdam calculates prices this to be at about minus 123, minus 124. If we want to round up from minus 123.61, and the profit margin associated with this one is an absurd 5.53%. So the play here, right, the math behind it is incredible. The value here, just from a math perspective, which is obviously the most important thing and the easiest way to be a profitable sports better is just to look at the math behind everything. So Betfred prices this at minus 110, this under 57. These Novig odds, the true line, has it at minus 123, minus 124, right? And it's important to understand where these numbers come from, meaning the no big odds specifically. The minus 110 is just what I, Betfred came up with. The minus 123, minus 124 is a little bit more important to understand. And it's pulled from, it's not that actually that complicated. It's, it's pulled from the sharpest sports books in the world. Now the process of determining this number is complicated, but the uh, concept behind it is not. Odds Jam back tested thousands and thousands of betting opportunities, collected millions of historical data points, trying to determine and successfully determined what sports books do the best job over the course of time at pricing odds, right? What sports books historically, consistently, over an extended period of time, do the best job at pricing odds. Once they made that determination, everything else became very easy in terms of finding profitable bets. So they used an average, a weighted average, giving heavier weight towards the sharper books, uh, removed the VIG from all of those books, and guess what, what you see here, the minus 123, no VIG odds. So the gap between these two numbers, the uh, no VIG odds and the, bet that, the odds of the bet that we are placing, gives you your EV percent, gives you your expected profit. Now this is an awesome bet. It's telling me to put to risk a unit and a half on this one, which I actually, it's rare that I'll go this high, but I actually do recommend the full unit and a half on this one, risk on this one. So for me, that's 150 bucks. Whatever a unit and a half is for you is what I would recommend putting on this one. Because look at the value, right? It's a main line, it's a total. We're getting it at minus 110. And every other book, DraftKings has it at minus 140. Bet Rivers has it at minus 132. Pinnacle, only charging 20 cents of juice has it at minus 137. And then if you open this up in a new tab, you see where every sports book prices this total. So the closest is 55 and a half, which is a point and a half lower than when we got it at, right? And they're favoring the under. So Pin so uh, FanDuel, excuse me, has the under at minus 112, the over at minus 108, favoring the under. And then we see most books have it at 55. Points bet, uh, or yeah, BetMGM, points bet, Caesars, DraftKings, Betfred, which is what, um, I know, sorry, Betfred has it at 57, so you can ignore the 57 and a half. That's an alternate line. Bet Online, and that's very important because Bet Online is a sharp sports book, and then Bet Rivers. So we use Bet Online, we use Pinnacle as the two books to kind of set the line for, for main lines like this. They have it either a point and a half or two full points lower than what we got it at. Insane, insane value on this one. Hammer it. I recommend, again, unit and a half on this one. Next up, same game, not as good of a value, still a good play. We're backing Akron to cover the spread at plus 113, or plus 110, excuse me. Akron plus 113 at minus 110. Sorry, got mixed up there. Akron plus, one thir plus 13 at minus 110. Plus 13 at minus 110. There we go. No big odds that Ajim calculates has this to be at about minus 114, only 15 cents of juice on this one, which is really good. Um, all in all, EV percent of about 1.86. Now my recommended bet size, which is just a mathematical formula, 
uh, tells me to put this at 50. I actually am gonna round this one up. It's a really good bet, a really good price. And for main lines like this one that you're getting value on, I like to kind of increase my recommended or my bet size a little bit. Um, so again, at Betfred at minus 110 odds, again, a valuable play. DraftKings has it at minus 135. Bet Rivers at minus 122. Pinnacle at minus 120. And then if you see, um, if you go to the point spread and see where every other book prices it, we can kind of get a glimpse here. So we're getting them at plus 13. And look across the board where every other sports book prices it. 11, plus 11 and a half at BetMGM, at FanDuel, at Bet Rivers, at Pinnacle, and then plus 11 at PointsBet, at Caesars, at DraftKings, at BetOnline, and that's important. Remember, BetOnline, Sharp Sportsbook. And uh, yeah, so, so BetOnline. So again, the Sharp Sportsbooks that we use to set markets, BetOnline, Pinnacle, has it at a point and a half to two points lower than what we are backing this underdog at. Akron, plus 13. So two insane, insane mathematically profitable bets that I found for Friday's college football action. I recommend hammering these two bets, a unit and a half on the under, a unit on Akron plus 13, and let's hope we cash. But that's all I got for you guys. If you're tailing these, comment and let me know. would love to hear it. Uh, and other than that, enjoy the game. Subscribe to the AJM YouTube channel. Uh, like the video, of course. Again, that's it. So appreciate everybody watching and have a good one.